Hello, I'm Terry Clemens, Executive Director of the National Consumer Reporting Association, and welcome to our Man on the Streets Credit Education video series. Founded in 1992, NCRA represents the specialty consumer reporting agencies that provide the credit reports required by mortgage lenders and property managers for making residential lending and leasing decisions. In these videos, you'll not see professional actors, but random Americans visiting iconic destinations with credit reporting and scoring questions. The answers are provided by NCRA members, each of whom have experience ranging from 15 to more than 40 years of employment in the consumer reporting industry. Without further ado, let's hit the streets and hear what these consumers want to know. Hi, I'm Andrew Berman from the Mortgage News Network, reporting from Times Square, New York, on behalf of the National Consumer Reporting Association, here with my friend Chris. Chris, you have any questions about credit? I do. What types of information are on my credit report and how do they get there? So information on the credit report begins with our own personal data, things like our name, our address, current and previous, our date of birth, and our social security number. In addition to our personal data, there's a lot of detailed information about the credit accounts that we hold. Things like the date open, high credit, balance information, and payment data. Accounts that are on the credit report will be things like credit cards, loans, mortgages, student loans, medical debt, tax liens, bankruptcies, civil judgments, all of that good stuff. Agreed. Plus yep. inquiries. So right. if other credit grantors have recently inquired on our credit history, there'll be a record of that as well. It's also important to know what's not on a credit report. Credit reports do not tell whether or not we've been married, whether we have children, they don't indicate nationality, there's no criminal data on there. That can be on specialty consumer reports, but it's not on a standard credit report. What's interesting is we as the consumer actually participate in creating that credit report. So as we begin our journey in life and we begin applying for things like an apartment lease, or maybe a credit card or a student loan, an auto loan. At that point, there is no actual credit history on us. But the fact that we've completed an application and that data gets entered into the database, that actually begins that report or that credit history. Once we're approved for that, then that creditor supplies the monthly data to the database. And that's really how it begins. Right, but it's also, there's more than one database. There's mm. Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. There are three different companies, and they have three different reporting dates, or many different reporting dates, actually. So when you're checking your FICO score or checking your credit, it's really important to check all three. They do vary. Mm -hmm. Very good to know. So while we participate in the creation of the credit report, that data does come monthly from the data furnishers or the credit grantors that we work with. I hope you enjoyed that video and it helped you understand more about the consumer reporting industry. Thank you to the NCRA Education and Compliance Committee members who worked very hard to produce this video series and also events all year long for NCRA members to help them be better stewards in the consumer reporting industry. A special thanks goes out to Jackie Dryzak from Strategic Information Resources and Karen Bennett from Contemporary Information Corporation. They were the ones who provided the answers to this question. A special thanks also needs to be made to the professionals of the Mortgage News Network who produce this video series. If you're a property manager or a mortgage lender and would like to obtain consumer reports from one of the industry's best providers, go to ncrainc.org to locate a member near you.